Good morning, children. How are you? Our topic is today's topic is days and months. Now, how many days are there in a week? There are seven days in a week. What are they? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, what are they? Again, let us revise. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, Monday is the Monday is the first day of the week. Monday is the first day of the week. So, second day will be Tuesday. Tuesday is the second day. Wednesday is the third day of the week. Wednesday is the third day of the week. Thursday is the fourth day of the week. Thursday is the fourth day of the week. Friday is the fifth day of the week. Friday is the fifth day of the week. Saturday is the sixth day of the week. Saturday is the sixth day of the week. And Sunday is the seventh day of the week or it is the last day. These two days together make up a weekend. They make up a weekend. Okay. So if you are asked a question, name the first day of the week. So your answer will be, Monday is the first day of the week. Tuesday is the dash day of the week. Tuesday is the second day of the week. What is Wednesday? Wednesday is the third day of the week. Third day of the week. Thursday is the fourth day of the week. Friday is the fifth day of the week. Saturday is the sixth day of the week. And Sunday is the seventh day of the week. That means a week has seven days. One week equal to seven days. So a week has seven days. Seven days make a week. Monday is the first day and Sunday is the last day. Even Sunday is a holiday also for all of us. Sunday is a holiday and it is also known as weekend. Okay, you somewhere you go for visit or you go for any outdoor, outdoor, uh, any, um, uh, anywhere you go for visit. So these are the seven days of the week. Now comes up the months. There are how many months, dear? There are how many months in a year? There are 12 months in a year. There are how many months in a year? There are 12 months in a year. So what are they? Let us revise one by one. The first one is January. The first one is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. So these are the 12 months of a year. 12 months make one year. There are 12 months in a year. January is the first month of a year. January is the first month of a year. And December is the last month of a year. Any year you will find December is the last month. So which is the sixth month you count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So June is the 6th month of a year. July is the 7th month. August is 8th. So it is 1st, then 2nd, then 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th. So there are, so we are using ordinal numbers whenever we are speaking out the rank or the position of the num uh, month accordingly. So January is the first month of the year. February is the second month of the year. March is the third month of the year. 
April is the fourth month of the year. May is the fifth month of the year. June is the sixth month of the year. July is the seventh month of the year. August is eighth month. September is known as the ninth month of the year. Then October is known as the tenth month of the year. November is known as eleventh month of the year. And December is known as the twelfth month or the last month of the year. Now, here I have written how many days are there in each month. You see, January has 31 days. January has 31 days. February has either 28 or 29 days. So, whenever it is a leap year, it will be treated as February will have 29 days. Otherwise, February will have 28 days. March is having 31 days. April 30 days. May has 31 days. June has 30 days. July has 31. August 31 days. September 30 days. October 31 days. November 30 days. And December 31 days. So you have to learn how many months are having 31 days and how many months are having 30 days. Because the question may be framed from here, how many months are having